Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to add mud to your map. Alright, let's get started. We're going to extract our map into a folder. Okay, once we do that, down in the, de the description below, I'm going to have this zip file under mud. You're going to want to download that and extract it onto your desktop. Once you do that, you're going to see a scripts folder, a dirt diffuse texture file, and instructions on how to do this. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is open up where you extracted your map, and the first thing that pops up, you're going to want to take your scripts folder and drag it in there. Drop it. That way you have a scripts folder. If you already, already have a scripts folder, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and open it and take these files and drop it into your scripts folder. Second, let's go into map, go into textures, and go onto your terrain. You're going to want to drop this dirt diffuse 2 inside this one. Okay, now you're done with this folder, the mud folder. <clears throat> now let's go back to the very front and you're going to want to find your mod description. Go ahead and open that with notepad plus plus it's gonna look something like this now in that text document I wanna have some lines in there that you need to pull over into here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to the bottom of this we're gonna drop this line a couple of lines down and then we're gonna take this copy paste if you already have a specialization section, just take this line here and place it in there. Do not take these if you already have them. Next, go down to your uh, source file. We're going to drop this down because we got a line for this. So let's take our source file and we're going to paste this in here. And again, this will be in that text document. All right, now we're done in our mod description XML. So we're going to close this out and we're going to save it. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to your map, go to your i3D file, and we're going to open this up in Notepad++ also. Now, in here, you got your file ID. What you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of this. So you get to this bottom piece. All right, let's go ahead and press enter, drop that line down. And inside the text document, you will find this line here that needs to be placed there. And that's the same where the texture file is, that dirt diffuse two. Okay, we got that completed. Now, let's go down to materials. Don't mess with this first line. Go down to the second one right here and hit enter. Drop that down one. Go back to the text document. Copy what I have in there and paste that right here. So it should be like that. Okay, if you notice right here on custom shader ID, it's blank. There is not a number in there. What you're going to want to do is you want to go go back up into file these files and you're gonna wanna find fruit growth foliage shader so let's go up here and find that file I already know that it's a shader so it's gonna be in a shaders folder so let's go down until we find a shaders folder and here is a shaders folder so we're looking for fruit growth foliage shader XML that number is right here that we're going to need. The file ID, 46. So we're going to scroll back down until we get back here, and that was 46. Okay, now you're done with that. Now, go on to search, go to find, and here, what you're going to want to type in, it's in the text document. Foliage. Up layer and then hit find next and it's going to drop you down to your 
a full edge sublayer. Okay, what you're going to want to do is go to the end of that one. You're going to run into a full edge multi layer. Go ahead and just drop that down because there's going to be a line that's going right here. So let me go back to my text document. I'm going to go down and I'm going to copy this entire line. Copy. And then I'm going to paste it right here. <clears throat> so it should be like this. Now, what you're going to want to do is scroll over. And right here you have a distant map ID. And it's blank. Also, if you keep scrolling to the very end, you're going to have a block shape ID, which is blank also. So what we're going to do, let's go back over to our distant map ID. And to find the number for this, we're going to use, let me go to the text document. We're going to use acre spray distant diffuse. So that means that we need to go all the way back to the very top to our files up here and we're, we're going to need to find acre spray distant diffuse so let me go ahead and scroll through here see if I can't find it okay here's acre distance we need acre sprayed so here's acre sprayed distant diffuse and it's 157 so we're gonna take the file ID 157 so go back to search find hit this box and then go back to here and then we know that was 157 so right here we're gonna type 157 for our distant map IDs Okay, now the end of this one, the block shape ID. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stay in your sublayer here, right here, and you're going to want to find the wheat windrow. You're going to want to go all the way to the end of that one and find the block shape ID for that, which is 7. So we're going to take that 7, and ours is here. So we're going to take that 7 we're going to place the 7 right there. Now, let's go ahead and close out of this and save it. You're done in there. Let's go ahead and close that down. Now you can open up your map in John's editor. Come on. Okay, now that you're in your map, it's probably going to look like this. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and close out of this, go into Windows, go into Terrain Editing, and down here in Foliage Layer Painting, you're going to see Foliage Layer. You're going to want to click that and find Dirty. It's right here. Go ahead and click on Dirty. Now, you already see all these are checked. Do not touch them. Go down here where 6 is and click 6. Now up at the top, you're going to see the terrain full edge paint mode. Go ahead and click that and you're going to have your little cursor. And then left click and you're going to draw in your mud. And that is how you add mud to a map. I hope this helps y'all out. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. If you have any more ideas on tutorials I could put out for y'all guys, also let me know down in the description. And thanks for watching, guys.